Hey guys, Andrew with 911 South. Welcome back to the 991 build series. Today I'm going to show you how to add a little bit of color to those seat belts. Today I'm gonna to walk you through one of the upgrades that I think actually adds the most personality to your car, but it's probably the one I see the least. And uh, a lot of times on my 993 when I had my accent seat belts and accent calipers, I had people say, hey, you know, I really love what you've done with the belts. It looks so awesome. And I say, okay, well, why don't you do it to your car? And they say, well, I don't even know where to start. Like, we have to do it professionally installed. If you like Porsche dealerships, it's gonna cost me like, two grand. So I think there's a lot of misconceptions about how to get this done. So I'm gonna walk you through A, how to take the belts out of the car, B, where to go to get them done and some of the options around that, and then C, how to put them back. I did this on the 993. It was super simple on that car. That car is a bit older, so I'm anticipating it's gonna be a little bit more difficult, obviously on the 991 back here, but I'm gonna walk you through it. That way you got a step-by-step. -step. Uh, hopefully it's helpful, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, first piece of advice, go ahead and invest in some of these. Um, these are interior trim removal kits. I want to say at Harbor Freight, this was literally like 10 bucks. These are plastic pieces that are specially designed to remove panels, things like that inside your car. Worthwhile investment. It's going to make it much easier. Of course, also you're going to need kind of a normal spread of tools, of various sockets and things like that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to start in the back seat. And the first step to this process is that uh, here in the center, there is a piece of rubber, okay? You're gonna remove this, which sits down in the center of that storage area. Then you're also going to remove this little door, okay? And once you get into that door, you're gonna see a bolt. And so we're gonna remove that and take that out and that will allow us to take out basically the lower ends of the seats, the center console, really get access to you know these points here and here at the bottom of the seatbelt assembly. We've got a 13 millimeter here, uh, so we're gonna disassemble that and take it out. That way, again, we can take out uh, the bottom section of the seats here. Next item is uh, you're gonna remove these two little leather pieces. They literally just Velcro out, so we'll pull those out and put those in the front seat. Then that will allow you to start to free up the rest of this. So uh, what you need to do next is there's two plastic pieces here and here that uh, are just a seatbelt trim. You basically pull those, you know, just give them a tug from like the bottom, pull them out. And then there are two bolts on either of the actual seatbelt attachments. Basically, these guys right here, they're going to remove those bolts. That is a, let's see what that ended up being. Uh, that's a 16 millimeter bolt. So you're gonna take that out and then there's two clips here and here that you're gonna pull loose. The rest of this is all just Velcro for the rear seat. And so that will allow you to take out this basically entire rear seat panel. It's gonna give us access down to the bottom of the belts and uh, we'll get ready to take out the rear seat belts. So next up is a good bit of panel removal. So after you've taken out these bottom seats, you're gonna to wanna to remove a few things. One is a panel back here. Um, it's at the very back of the windshield. Uh, it's carpeted, it comes out very easily. Second is uh, this rear pillar here, which is the panel you see here. It does have this orange strap, which attaches uh, up here. You're gonna need like a trim puller to pull the little small round tab off without breaking that. And then once you get that free, you're going to disconnect by unscrewing a little metal piece right there, which is what the uh, rear seat that flips up snaps into. And that will allow you to take out this rear panel here with the uh, rear speaker. So once you get all of that done, you basically have access to all the points you need. So you've got the top of the front seat belt here. You've got the bottom uh, where the actual seat belt mechanism is for the front. And then of course you can get to this area down here. So that's the three points on your front belt. And then if you look back here, uh, you can see the mechanism itself for the rear belt and the connection point for the rear belt. And then of course that connects down by the seat as well. So that gives you all your three points of disengagement. And so we're gonna go ahead and get the belts out and uh, you know tidy all this up and then really repeat the same process for the other side. So it's not that difficult. I know a lot of people are very hesitant 
in the newer 911s to start popping these panels. But, you know, again, if you have trim uh, removal tools, it's like a $10 set. You know, just go get these. They're plastic. They're very strong. They're super safe. You know, they keep you from damaging anything. So go get that and your, you know, set of ratchets and sockets. And honestly, this is a very easy DIY. So again, I'm going to get these all removed. Um, I'll pull them out, get them all boxed up and ready to go. Um, and then I'll talk to you guys about where to send them and how to get them uh, done in a custom color. All right, one more note for you guys, and this one's really important. Before you start this project, be sure you go out and get a set of triple square bits, ratchet bits, okay, or socket bits. Um, this is a 10 millimeter. You have to have this to remove the bolts that hold these seatbelts in. Um, these are common in a lot of German cars in terms of their size, but they're very unique. What you wanna be sure of is that you use this. You do not wanna use a star bit, a hex bit, Torx bit, etc. Make sure you get this bit. Order this before you start your project. I happen to be able to find it in town, but it took going to three different stores. You can get it on Amazon, you can get it on HomeDevo.com, Lowe's.com. You know, get a set of these if you own a Porsche, um, because there are a lot of things. There are, you know, clutch plates, not that I have a, a manual, but just in doing my research, you know, a whole myriad of things on this car require these triple square bits. You try to use another bit that's similar, you will probably strip whatever you are using. So make sure you get these. So in terms of where to order the seatbelts, I use seatbeltplanet.com. Great website, great customer service. It's the same website I use for the 993 as I use for this 991. If you go up to seatbelts, once you navigate to their page, go down to rewebbing, you'll see the different options here. But as you can see, they run about $140 a belt. The rears are a little bit less expensive than the front. So all in, it's about $500. This includes very quick shipping both ways, knowing that these will be out of your car, 24 to 48 hour turnaround, which is spectacular. So for roughly 500, 600, if you compare that to ordering belts from say Porsche, which can run closer to $2,000, this is a really, really cost efficient way to add a very cool and unique color accent to your car. If you go to the rewebbing link and then go down to view colors, this will show you all the standard colors that are available. As you can see, there is a ton of options here. Three panel, four panel, accent stripes. The one that I went with for this particular car is called Electric Blue. It is almost a dead on match for Miami Blue uh, Porsche, which is awesome, but obviously plenty of options here. So again, couldn't recommend this website more. Very quick turnaround, great customer service. You send them your belts, they remove the OE black webbing, put in this custom webbing of your choice, and then also send you the black webbing back should you ever decide to put the car back to stock. Got the package back from Seatbelt Planet. This is kind of how it comes. They do an amazing job. So they use your existing mechanisms, obviously, to reweb. We've got the Miami Blue, and I'm very, very pleased with this color match. That's about as close as you could ask for, for a standard blue color. We're gonna unpack this stuff, and all we're really gonna do, I mean, I know this goes without saying, we're basically just gonna go in reverse order. I'm gonna do one side at a time, and uh, you know, just get in here and install the back, and then install the front, and just put all these panels back in place and call it a day. So, you know, I will check in if there's anything unique about how they go back, but again, you basically are just reversing the same order that you took everything out. Wanna be sure everything's tight. Obviously, it's a safety device. Wanna be sure you replug airbag connections that are in the front here, the two little yellow plugs. You can kinda see one right there. So here's the final look. Super pleased with how this turned out. This adds just such a needed pop of color to this black interior. You know, again, Miami blue, such an awesome Porsche color, very recognizable. And I'm just really, really excited with how this turned out. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. I know this is a mod that a lot of people shy away from. They think it's really complex in these newer water-cooled Porsches, especially the 991. The steps were, I think, five or six total, so it's really not that bad if you just take your time, you have the right tools. Again, I can't recommend seatbeltplanet.com enough. Great website uh, for five to $600 mod. This is a lot of bang for the buck. It really sets your car apart. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, one of the compliments I got the most, by far, on the 993 was 
that people really like the accent seatbelt. So thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. If you are enjoying the 991 build and you're finding these videos helpful, please do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. It really helps me out as I build the channel. Got a lot of other things coming. I think four more episodes of the 991 build series. We've got drives, events, things going on in the Atlanta area, as well as some out of town events coming up soon, uh, especially in the fall, going back to Farron. If you are a P-Car Club member, you better get there. If you are a P-Car Talk follower, you better get in the know. But thanks again for tuning in and uh, stay tuned for the next one.